What we're basically trying to do is take a human embryonic stem cell that's uh, federally approved, differentiate them to beating cardiac cells, and inject uh, these uh, beating cardiac cells uh, initially into small animals and then large animals of uh, models of a heart failure. And the hope is that the data that we get uh, from these preclinical studies will allow us to move safely uh, and efficaciously into human uh, clinical trials uh, later on. But what we're proposing is for the first time take human embryonic stem cell derived cardiomyocytes and inject into patients uh, with heart failure. Uh, I think as you know, the, uh, cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of morbidity and mortality in the uh, states, so there's a lot of stake uh, involved here. And to do this, uh, it's quite complex because it involves investigators with different uh, skill sets and different expertise, ranging from cardiovascular developmental biology to cardiovascular physiology to small animal, large animal model, to investigators with expertise in filing paperwork uh, with the FDA for approval of uh, this process. And because for these uh, reasons, uh, we really need a team of investigators uh, uh, with the different uh, skill sets and expertise uh, to fulfill what we propose in the Sun Disease uh, Team Grant. So this uh, entire timeline will be four years. So at the end of the four years, we hopefully we will get an investigation of new drug or IND from the FDA that will give us approval to initiate the first in human uh, trial involving human ESL derived cardiomyocytes uh, injection into patients. Yeah.